today we're going to fish with something just a little bit different. I'm going to give credit here to Mike Iconelli. I've seen this on his uh, shop videos, but he was doing it in a fish tank, showing this bait in a fish tank. It's called a spine rig, and I've never seen it before. This was about mm, three weeks ago, so I thought I'm going to try it. So I caught some fish on it. It done very well. Watch these clips of some of these fish I caught, then I'm going to show you how to rig it. Again, it's called the Spine Rig. This is Fishing Lake Country. My name is Dennis Scott. Please subscribe. Hit that bell so you can keep up with me. Okay? Trying to grow this channel, and I'm trying to do exactly what this video is about. I'm showing you something that you can catch fish on. I share, I uh, borrowed this, excuse me, I borrowed this from Mike Iconelli. Like I said, again, if you want to go back and watch this video, he just shows it in a tank. If y'all watch the shop videos. I'm going to show it to you on the water. Let's go fishing. All right, guys, I'll kind of show y'all what I'm doing here. This is some uh, stumps on drop. I'm in 15 foot of water. The back of the boat's in 15 foot of water. You can see that it's almost level with the stumps, and it? Or in line with the stumps. There was a bump. I'm letting it sink, and then I'm just pulling it once in a while. I'm just pulling it. When you pull it, the nose of that bait comes back up, and it levels out. Okay? That's, that's what that's what makes the bait interesting is when you hook them when you Texas rig a soft plastic jerk bait uh, you're, you're, you're leading it by the nose this one being that's the weights in the nose and this nose is loose every, and you line ties here see every time you pull it it's coming up so when you pull it it comes up then when you when you uh, give it a little slack, it levels out, and it'll actually set level for a little bit before it sinks until you give a slack line. You can put it beside the boat and watch it, and you'll go like, "Wow!" And it gets a, it gets a very different action. Every time you twitch it, it goes left, right, left, right. Uh, real easy. It doesn't take much. So sometimes I just shake my line like that. But there, oh, I had a bump right there. There he is, right there, guys. Oh, he's a little one. <laughs> but hey. Is he, he's a fun size. All of them are fun, guys. Y'all have heard me say that many a time. When you're fishing, you're fishing. If you're fishing a tournament, yeah, you want the big ones. But if you're just fishing, all of them are fun, right? All right, guys, we've got another one on. He's up under the boat. Now he's got my hand from me. Let's see where he ends up at. I don't have a six-pound line, guys, so I don't get... I want this light rig. I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. Ah, come on. I'm just going to net him. So he ain't that big. He's nice. Huh? Alright, let me show you. Y'all see him? Guys, I'm sorry I keep moving the camera. I'm trying to keep the, keep you all in focus. Like I say, you heard me say it before. I know y'all watch these videos and you're like, don't you can't see. Guys, this is called a spine rig. You see where I got the hook in the middle of his back like he's in spine. That's a nice fish. He's nice and fat, isn't he? Okay. Alright guys, we'll show you something with this bait. That thing will skip like a dream. It will skip real easy because I got it on a light line. The lighter line you keep this bait on, the easier it is going to be to cast around and skip around. And what I'm doing is letting it sink and I'm popping it. Letting it sink and I'm popping it. Let me see if we can get over here and get him. Let's see if we can get him in here once in a while. Oh, he's thick too. Good gosh, he's thick. Now I got a small hook too, that's why I'm not getting too wild. As long as I, as long as I don't get too wild on him. And I'm using six pound lime because I don't have any weight. I'm gonna show y'all all about this at the end of the video, guys. There you go. Sorry about that. Oh, that's a nice fish. Okay, I'm gonna move, make a little noise here. I'm gonna move the camera so I can make sure y'all singing him. Mm, nice fish. See, there's look how easy that hook came out. <laughs> that's huh, that's why you don't get too rough on you, keep your line tight, right? 
Don't get too rough and then keep your line tight. See ya. Nice fish. The water's pretty clear right now. See how small my hook is? Alright, just a little shad. And I skipped it down there. I got a little bit of weight in it. I'm gonna... He thinks he's a horse. I don't think he's that big. He thinks he is. <laughs> See, he's not that big. He just thinks he is. And he lost my bait. All right, guys. I had him. <laughs> You're going to have to take my word on it, guys. I got you. Open your mouth. I got you. I'm trying to grab home that getting hooked. I had a uh, full-size super fluke on That's what I had on there. Wow. He's hooked by the hook, and he's hooked by the shank of the hook. Can y'all see that? Wow. He wasn't going to. Oh, I got he wasn't gonna throw that was he but that's what I was doing guys this is a oh it's he got a shad halfway in his mouth here can y'all see that they're eating shad here and that's why I was throwing flukes and super uh, uh, super fluke juniors actually was big bite baits look how fat he is all right guys I don't think he's very big. He thinks he is. He thinks he's a monster. All right, yes. All right, guys. This is this is another one on. Get, grab me. This is another one on the spine rig. He's not a monster, is he? But he's a bass. Okay, he's a bass. That's what counts, right? He's on the spine rig, and this is the. What's the difference now? This is a full-size fluke. Okay, this is a super fluke. I got a nail in the nose. You can see, the, see it here? Nail weight. And I got a jig hook in it. Okay, guys. Using a hook like this, it's a jig hook. Now, I'm going to give you a tip right off the bat. You can take a lead head like this. Okay? I know some of y'all got some. Take your hammer on a piece of steel, anvil, I use my wood stove. Smack it three or four times, flatten it. Take a pair of little cutters or dikes, work the lead off of it, okay? You don't have to run out and buy a 100 pack of those because if you don't have them, they're expensive, right? Also, you see my video on pre rig swim baits from Walmart, the little white Berkeley pogies. If you got some of those, they get tore up after a while. You can take and pull the body off. They got a little piece of lead on them. You'll see that once the fish tears it off. I use some of those. I just cut the lead off of those, off the pre rig swim baits. So there you go. I guarantee you, you got a jig around you can do that with, okay? Just to experiment, so to buy 100 of them. Big bite baits, four inch jerk minnow, all right? Blue back carry was one of the best colors for me. Uh, this is called blue back carry, and you can see it's got a little bit of grayish brown tint to it. That one seemed to work the best, but we do have herring in this lake, not Gaston. All live, which is the other color, this is called real shad. That's what I was using. Also, you're going to see one. I don't think I caught the one on the full size, guys. Probably I'm having on lake right now. This is September. Okay, this is Southern Virginia. I fish three or four days a week. Yesterday I fished, the water's still 81 degrees. We got down to about 76 one time, did a cool spell. Then we're back in a couple of days. So, big bass are still kind of hard to come by. They are schooling some. You're going to notice a couple of times when you see me catching the fish. You'll see the water move out in front of me and stuff. They were schooling. This is Arkansas, uh, Tennessee Shad. That's what I caught the other ones on. You can use a full size one. If your area's got a big bass, you can use it. Now, if you watch Mike out from Ellie's video, like I said at the beginning, in a tank, what makes this rig unique is, once you, I'm gonna show you how to rig it in a minute, when you put this weight in it, when you move your line, pull your line, it goes up like this. And it's almost it's horizontal. Okay, and so every time you move it, it's doing this. It's doing a nose up. So it's really neat. Now, let me show you. Let me show you how to rig. Let's get the. All right. And you want to match your jig to the jig size hook to the bait. This one's probably a little big. This is what I usually on the full size, but I already had it on the rod. And I said I'm going with it because <laughs> I'm just going to show you how to do it. Start about a half inch back. If you get too far back, your nose will bend down from the weight if you get too much weight in it. Again, you can control, guys, how deep you fish this bait. 
When you start in about a half inch back, don't go down deep either. Guys, go down about an eighth to a quarter to a three sixteenths. Go back a little bit, but the length you need it, watch this. Bam. Okay? Now, your lead. How you gonna weigh it? Here's how you're gonna weigh it. I showed you the leads. You buy them in a bag as much as pockets. It's coming from Bass Pro Shop. That's these are lead. You can get tungsten, I'm sure. I've had these a long time, guys. Now look, I, I didn't use much weight. I used about that much. And let me tell you something about these big old weights. Once you cut the point off, I just took these right here and made a little point. All right, another tip for you. Two tips in one video. I don't know what people do, but you know how they come pointed like that because they go in easier? Just take bars and work it out. Now, I just put a toxic thing in my mouth. I didn't really, guys. I just, all I did was touch my tongue on just a little bit. Just get a little moisture on it. Best thing in the lake is dip it in the water. <laughs> if I fall over during this video, y'all know why. All right, that's your weight, okay? Now see what I'm talking about, wanting to turn down this a little bit? If you get too much weight and go back too far, it's gonna turn down on you a little bit. Now, every time you move that thing, it'll sink like this. If you get a free fall, it'll sink fast, pretty fast too, guys, you'll be surprised, okay? It'll sink pretty fast, and every time you pull it, it's gonna come up like this. And it'll lay like that for a minute. So if you throw it out there and reel it back slowly, I've watched this in clear water. The water's, the water's clearer now it's ever been because we ain't had any rain for like six weeks. And I watch beside the boat. If you just take and pull it and give it a little slack, it'll do this. You know, anytime you're trying to adjust the lure, I know y'all guys do this. I know a lot of you are like, Dennis, Dennis, I've been there. But anytime you're working the bait and you ain't sure of it, hold it down the water beside your boat and use a couple things with it. Gives you an idea of exactly what it looks like in the water and what you can do with it. And that's what I've done with this being because never used this before until I watched Mike's uh, video, but every time you pull it, it's really neat in the water. Every time you pull it, it kind of goes like this. And when you stop, it kind of sits horizontal for a little bit, then, it, then, it's, then it'll stop this drop. I've caught it on the drop, I played it, I pull it, sometimes I let it fall. I'll be in eight, ten foot of water, I just let it fall. Let it hit the bottom then, I pop it up, let it fall. Man, it would pop it again, it's like you're jigging a spoon, guys, it had it. So it gives you another idea. You know, some of y'all guys are jigging spoons for bass this winter? I never thought about this. <laughs> I've been there now, I'm ahead of you. You could put a heavier weight in a full size one, maybe half of that weight. Might be a good way to jig uh, for fish in the wintertime instead of using spoons. Okay, but that's how you rig it. I was stoned it on that rod, and I was stoned it, the little one I was stoned on this rod with six pound test. I had one break the line the other day, guys, because he come toward me, he come up and jumped. It was a nice fish, it wasn't a big fish, monster fish. Looking, they look bigger when they jump out of the water. I'm gonna say it was three pounds area, but he jumped, this is six pound line, fluorocarbon, and he come at me, and I tried to get him around the nose of the boat, right? No, he went straight under the boat. I got a rear drag here where I can give him line, okay? That's why I like this little reel. But anyway, I hit the rear drag, it's just on it now. I hit the rear drag, there it went, it didn't want to give, uh, uh, right, right away, and it all happened so fast, right? Pop, he, he broke it. But anyway, that's part of it. The big, the uh, large one I was throwing on this rod, because it has eight pound test on it, I was throwing it on that. But uh, if you go to more weight, you could use a bait caster. Because I know a lot of y'all going six pound test, because I was watching a video the other day and I said, somebody was talking about six pound test and he was standing beside me and he said, I never use anything lower than 12. Well guys, on this lake, we use six and eight a lot. I've got four spinning rods with six and eight on them that I use for different things, for clear water, shallow water, Mojo rig, things like that. I've caught a lot of fish on a six pound test. And you're gonna lose some, I know. But there's times when the fishing's tough, and y'all know this up for smallmouth area, fishing for smallmouth, things like that, up north where the water's clear. Sometimes you don't get bit if you don't six or eight. If you go bigger than six or eight, you just you can't get a bite sometimes. So anyway, even the fluorocarbon, it changes the action. The heavier line is guys, it changes the action of your bait. Okay guys, there you go. There's another thing you can add to your uh, to your boat, to your arsenal. Uh, the spine rig, and that's not something you're gonna wanna use year round. It worked good for me on breaking fish. It worked good for me, you know, I seen the fish were breaking, I throw them a swim bait, nothing happened, and I go to that because when fish break in a school, they have injured ones, right? And the injured ones will fall through the school, that's an injured, that's an injured shad falling through the, through the school. Uh, you can pitch it around docks and stuff, I didn't try that, again, this is late September, uh, I, today, is, so today is the last day of September as I'm filming this. Uh, I caught these fish the last two, two weeks on it. And uh, guys, with so many videos like this, I just don't catch all these fish in one day with a video. 
I, I have a couple different rods rigged up and I got to fish the situation. Fish were breaking, I'm throwing the swim bait, and I'm throwing this, this rig. And as I was catching them, I just keep the clips so I can share with you that I'm catching fish on it and how it works. All right, guys, there you go. This is Fish Lake Country. My name is Dennis. Please subscribe. And I'll come up and I'm going to share something else with you next time besides this fine rig. It could be, well, you have to wait and see. See you next time, guys, on Fish in Lake Country.